Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife video for you. I hope everybody's safe and happy and healthy and everything. You know, staying at home right now during all this. It is April of 2020. Uh, but today's a good day for me. Uh, I wanted to share some joy with you. This is probably the most epic unboxing that I've ever done on this channel. Uh, partly because both of these are mine. And one I've been chasing for several months. A little bit of story as to why I have the one that I have. And why I'm going to probably have it for longer than I planned on having it. And then the other one I just found out about on Monday, and now I've got one. I think it's going to be one of the most interesting knives of uh, of 2020. It, you already see their names in the in the title up above, but let's pretend that you didn't. So let's start out with the first one. We're going to start with the one that uh, I've been chasing for a long time. Other people have done videos about this. I'm not the first. So we're going to use the Microtech UTX-85, which I extremely much enjoying. Uh, that already is annoying my family loves clicky noises to open this box this is from white mountain knives very much appreciate justin making sure that i got my hands on one of these and go to whitemountainknives.com use the code sdwmk at checkout to get 10 percent off and i don't know if he has any of these still in stock i know he did get a significant number of them so i'm not really sure but people have been chasing these so we will see sorry the box is kind of big so i have to do it off camera Make sure there's nothing else in here. Nope. Okay. So, put this away. And, yes. It is a Chris Reeve Sebenza 31 plane. So, before I open this up, the reason why I got the plane... So, here was my plan. I just really wanted to get the Sebenza 31 as soon as I possibly could. This is the upgraded new version of the Sebenza. I had a 21 for quite some time. I did really like it, but there were a few things I didn't like. They seem to have addressed those, so I was really excited to get it. The plan was to get this plain one as soon as possible because I thought that would be the, the first ones that would come in. So that is the, the one that I was asking for. Turns out that didn't work out. The, the ones with the inlays and stuff came out uh, sooner, if nothing. So I probably just should have done that. But the plan was to get the plain one, have it for a while, do a review, and then at Blade Show, I was going to buy a Micarta inlay version because they look really nice on the 31. They changed the inlays a lot. It looks really great. But, you know, that's not going to happen now. So this is what I'm going to have for a while, which is fine because it's exactly the same as my old Sebenza. So it uh, makes more sense to start out with this one. So let's open it up. The usual big Chris Reeve box. You have the usual really cool Chris Reeve stuff. Little little birthday card, February 12th, 2020. So it is a, a brand freaking new one. Um, you have you know, little disassembly things. I love that they encourage you to disassemble it. As you will see, there are tools in here to do so, which is really cool. A little registration card, all that. One of the only companies I actually do register with because uh, Chris Reeve, uh, after their, their warranty is, uh, is outstanding. This is the knife, so we're going to set this aside for just a moment. But you can see there's nice foam in here. Comes with their recommended lube. Which I don't use. Sorry, Chris Reeve. Um, and then it comes with the, the little proper sized Allen tool to take it apart. So, also the really awesome Chris Reeve knives. Uh, microfiber cloth, whatever it is. Because and this used to be the background like everybody's YouTube videos back in the day. If you had a if you had a Sebenza, you had one of these. So here it is. I always forget it comes with a lanyard on it. And I'm like, huh. That won't last long. I'm not a lanyard guy, so uh, that will probably come off pretty quick. But yeah, this is these these cloths are really cool. The Chris Reeve logo embossed in them. They are pretty nice. It's very cold. I literally just took it out of the mailbox less than 10 minutes ago. Let's look at it closed. Uh, main thing you notice closed, how you can spot a 31 as to a 21, is uh, that locating hole is gone. So they look a little bit cleaner. Someone else pointed out they felt like it was a bit more chamfered. I don't have the 21 here to compare it directly to, but yeah, I would kind of agree that it does feel a bit more chamfered than the 21 was. Pocket clip is angled a bit, so when you're touching it, you're not pushing on that lock bar, which is going to be great. It should make it a bit flickier. It also has a ceramic little uh, thing on, on the lock bar there, so we have a ceramic ball on the lock bar, just like they have on the um on and stuff, um, so that's good reversible thumb studs. I just get the blue. Uh, I kind of wanted the silver, but uh, that's not what I got. So I, I'm happy with the blue. It, the blue is what I, I knew what I was getting. He didn't send me the wrong one. I'm just saying this is the one I could get. So let's flick it out first time. 
Yeah, that's much easier to flick than my old Spenza was. Absolutely, for certain, it really definitely is. Um, I was always pushing on the lock bar, and the, the old one was just straight, and I just, my hands didn't want to do that thing. I know Chris Reeve used to always say his knives aren't meant for being flicky, but uh, it's nice to be able to do it. Yeah, it's very smooth, and they break in a whole lot, so... And as soon as this is done, I'll probably, I'll probably take it apart and do my stuff to it, but, uh, and get rid of this, get rid of this lanyard, which unfortunately you just kind of have to cut off because it does have this nice little insert, but there's a hole in there. I'll put the insert back in, but, uh, there's no real way to, uh, unless you untie all this and go through all that. And I'm not going to do that. It's just normal paracord. I'm just going to cut it off, but ergos are very, very good. I remember the pocket clip being a, a bit of a hot spot previously on the 21. I don't, I don't feel it as much on this. Some people have complained about lock rock, so let's check that. Nope, no lock rock, no blade play. It is per it is superb. Blade centering is awesome, as you'd expect from Chris Reeve. And like I said, it's just as I fail it, it's just so much easier to flick. It just really is. Almost kind of snappy, which I've never described to Chris Reeve as that before. I've handled a lot of them, but this is the, the only second one I've owned. I just had this Benza 21 and now this, the 31. Uh, really liking this, the usual Chris Reeve finish. It's going to snail trail up, but it'll look cool. And you're kind of supposed to do that with Spenzas. I like seeing used ones. They always look kind of classy. Usual Idaho made. Yeah, this is going to be a user for a while. I'm With what's going on, I'm not going to pop for a... A fancy one. I think I'm just going to keep this one for a while and uh, and really use it as much as I can. That nice hollow ground blade. We all know this is Benza specs, but let's put the put the ample box away and grab out and get the scale and stuff. We'll do a, a couple quick little specs on it and then we'll bring out the other one because the other one's really exciting. So uh, I'm going to pull this off to the side where I can see it and you can't right now. So you have the usual just over three and a half inch blade. Uh, like eight and a quarter inches and I'm going to do full reviews on both of these obviously but do a quick wait and then we will uh we'll move on to the next one yeah 4.7 pretty sure that's about what the old one laid nothing really here that should make it any heavier or any lighter yeah it's definitely much more flickable especially when you don't have a camera thing in your way uh, really liking this a whole lot. They did seem to adjust. There's something, I think there's something different with the bushings, or the bushings with the washers too, but I have to, I have to look up and recall what that is. But uh, I was so excited. I just wanted to get this one out. I did no research and took no notes before I did this. So uh, really awesome. But the next one, I've been waiting on this forever. So the next one I'm almost more excited about because I only learned that it existed on Monday on Instagram, and that's kind of typical of this, comp of this company. As it says, it's a quiet carry. They did the same thing with the Drift, which has a lot of similarities to this, which we'll talk about in a moment. They don't really, they don't really promote a lot. You just kind of have to know. Quiet carry, awesome company. They're making some really cool stuff. I love the IQ. I never got to handle a Drift, but I know a lot of people really, really like that. This is kind of a follow-up to the Drift, a lot of that same concept which let's, let's open it first then we'll talk about it let's use the sabenza since we have it out first thing it's going to do is cut open another very nice knife box it should probably spend a lot of its life doing that as most of my knives do sorry i gotta take this off camera again a bit too so funny story with this while i'm cutting it open um i saw it on on a monday Posted on the community page here. Hey, look at this. Anybody got a spare 295 bucks? And then somebody, a very nice viewer, Jeremy, said, well, I'm going to buy one, so why don't I just send it to you first? And I was like, okay, cool. So that was the plan. Then he sent me the tracking number, and then my knife sale went pretty good, and I got a refund from something that I forgot I'd asked for a refund for some old Broadway tickets for my daughter. So I had, that obviously is not happening, so I had some extra money, and I said, you know what? Um, What's your address? I'm buying you one and sending it to you. So it worked out. I got mine earlier than I expected to. And he's getting his earlier than he expected to. So, but this is very well wrapped up, first of all. Ooh. Comes with some stickers. That's nice for your 
$295. Very nice little box. Smaller box than I'm expecting, so probably smaller knife than I was expecting. But uh, yeah, this is the Waypoint. This is their newest model. Um, stone wash I got. You can get stone wash or bead blast. I like some bead blast, but usually I prefer stone wash. So how do we do this? Looks like it slides out all the way. And then you, oh, there we go. Come on, you. There she is. Yeah, it is a little smaller than I was expecting. Get that out of there. There's some, yeah, it's just oil residue goo on there. A warranty card, not much else of note. But what's cool about this is this knife is totally, completely, 100% uh, rust, almost rust proof. And it does have a wire clip. It's so new that all there is on the pictures on their website is this one side view. It's this side. I did not know what clip it was going to have. Um, very glad it has a wire clip. I like wire clips. Very slender knife. But it is a Vanex blade, titanium scales, but it is a liner lock. But the liner lock is LC200N, which is also you know, pretty much rust proof. And all the hardware is all, uh, it said, um, um, marine grade hardware. So let's flick the sucker open. Wow, that is, that is snappy. That is one the complaint I heard about the drift. Everybody said that a lot of them, the detents were a bit weak. This, this one, I cannot say that. And that it doesn't look, oh, stone wash on the handles. They all have satin blades. Now I get it. I like the look of the stone wash on the handles. I'm still glad I got that instead of the bead blast. It looks cool. Satin blade, but it's Vanex super clean steel. So um, I'm not saying it's super clean, and it's just what they call it. Wow, that is so smooth. That is very, very smooth. Let me mute my computer here. Sorry, I didn't do that. Um, that is really smooth. Oh, and I love the size of it. Very good ergos. This thing is great. Holy crap. Now super drop shutty. It's running on washers. Oh, that detent is freaking perfect, man. Yeah, I never held a drift, but... Which they still have a couple of drifts on the site. They're 315, I think. This is 295. And the drift, same thing, is completely rust resistant. The It's a frame lock, but the... Uh, over travel stop slash lock bar insert is LC200N so that it's still rust proof. Oh my God, this thing is great. This is really impressive, guys. This is one that um, I was expecting to like, but uh, yeah, not this much. First impressions are I have no complaints about this knife. <laughs> this is uh, this is pretty... Pretty freaking perfect. I'll see how that Vanex does, but, you know, Pete from Cedric and Ada loves it, and he knows way more about steels than I'll ever know. He's forgotten more than I'll ever know in my entire lifetime. So, um, really nice backspace. Everything's very nicely finished. I don't know who makes this. I assume it's made by them, uh, by someone else for them, but I could be wrong about that. Perhaps they make it. Yeah, so I'm an idiot. I got so excited. I forgot to give you some stats on this one. I know you're all going to ask because there is uh, especially one very cool little stat about this. Uh, this is, again, the, uh, the the quiet carry waypoint. Um, it is very light. We'll get to that in a moment. But the overall length, again, sorry, I got to do this off camera. Blade length of just under three and a half inches. Overall length of about seven inches. And the weight is uh, pretty darn good. Yeah, zero that again. Come on. With our feed scale, you have a weight of 2.78 ounces. So it's very slim, very light, nice deep carry clip. This thing's going to carry awesome, which is quiet carry. It's right in their name. So obviously they care about that. So I'm just going to cut this in the middle of the video. Now back to your regularly, regularly, regularly scheduled rambling. But, um,. Yeah, this is, uh, this is gorgeous. This is really, really, really well done. And again, I apologize if they do actually make this, but I believe Quiet Carry is just one guy. So um, check them out, though. I will link to uh, both of these down below. And I'm sure you guys all know what a Sabenza 31 is, but uh, I bet a lot of you don't know what this is. And uh, you should. So uh, this is freaking cool. Very, very happy with both of these. So I'm going to set them up for... Uh, for the purposes of you know the uh, the usual uh, the usual thumbnail shot, 
Got to care about those thumbnails, yo. It's all about those thumbnails. I'm really sorry I said that. I apologize to you and, and apologize to myself and my family and my people for saying yo in a video, but uh, I'm just kind of excited. Clean off that blade just a little bit. A little bit of schmutzies on there. Yeah, very, very cool. So uh, look uh, look forward to full reviews of these. This thing is, uh, this. these are both these are both awesome. Like I said, I thought these were going to be about the same size. Again, I don't look at specs when I order stuff because I'm an idiot. But I like that this is a bit smaller. It's pretty cool. It gives me an excuse to keep both of them. So I <laughs> hope you guys have enjoyed this. I definitely have. I've been Brian. Have a good one.